Ross, and I'm back with another banger. So look, you already see that title. You already know what we're here for today. Before I even get into this video, I don't need no negative comments. None of that. All right, I don't need none of that because I'm a positive person. I'm a healthy person. You know what I'm saying? And we just be fucking with dirty. You know what I'm saying? It, it has consequences. Anyways, before we get into this video, y'all go ahead, smash the like button just because I had the courage and the confidence to just come up on here and tell y'all this story. You feel me? And I know, ladies, like, y'all's with me on this because niggas really be setting you up for the trap. So, all my ladies in the comment section down below, y'all go ahead and comment. Let me know that you with me. You feel me? Y'all go ahead and subscribe. We're on the way to 2K. Look, we gonna go ahead and get into the video. I don't really want to pull out receipts or nothing. I don't think we'll pull out no receipts because I don't know. I think we'll pull out some receipts. All right, so we're going to go to Instagram real quick. Um, Damn, I don't even remember the nigga name. Damn, I can't even find his Instagram, bro. Well, anyways, we're going to hop right in. All right, so every female has that one toxic ex that they always go back to no matter how many times this nigga do you wrong he always got a way of words to just swoop you in and it'll never be a oh i'm trying to fix it be like yo let me pull up so we can talk about it nigga why we can't talk on the phone why you can't text me why you gotta pull up to talk about it nigga i know what's i know what it is nigga i know what was going on and you're like you ain't gotta you know i know what you want and i ain't with that but clearly I was. So look, <laughs> this is crazy. I didn't think I was gonna be out here telling this story. <laughs> All right, first thing you know about me, I'm a very clean person. I'm a very health conscious. Is that how you say it? Health conscious? Conscious health? Health awareness? So um, you had your you what you could you do you what you want i'm a very healthy person like bitches out here be for the streets they don't drink water they don't eat their fruits and vegetables like my skin how do you think i get my skin like this i only drink water no soda i might drink a little juice like i got me a little power rate because you know i'm at work but other than that i don't really drink juice you know what i'm saying i don't really drink soda you know i eat my fruits and vegetables i go to my you know what i'm saying monthly weekly doctor's appointments i get myself right because at the end of the day self-love is all we have if you're not keeping yourself up who finna keep you period i don't even know where that came from but shit it sound good what bro what are you talking about man all right we gonna get into this i feel like i'm beating around the bush all right basically this is how i started so my ex we gonna call my ex we gonna call him bob because we don't even put nobody out there so my ex bob look well, first off, this is my ex from high school. And then, mind you, I'm 22. So I've been out of school for a little minute now. But as I said, he was a toxic ex. So, of course, you got that back and forth thing going on. First off, we didn't even text. I didn't think the dude got my number. We always Instagram DM. This dude always mess. He always fucking, bro. This nigga always fucking FaceTime me. Well, Instagram video chat me at booty call hours bro like two in the morning and it be random like mind you we don't have no conversation no conversation we don't have no conversation he'll just randomly facetime me at two in the morning and i'll be like my guy i'll decline it and he'll be like bro why you not answering i'm like what do you what do you what do you mean you're not my nigga i don't have one of those like who are you sir you were an ex okay period so at this part at this point in time you know what i'm saying when you ain't had nothing in a little minute, you ready to bust that thing open, you know what I'm saying? Go crazy, ah, 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 go stupid, ah, ah, go crazy, go stupid. Ah. Hey, ladies, dab me up right here so I don't feel like I'm alone. Okay, sis, look, so I don't even know, what, every time he hit me up, it's always some excuse. It don't ever be straightforward, like, oh, I just want to bop bop. It's always like, oh, can I come over and play the game? Oh, you want to come over and play the game at 2 in the morning? Oh, can we come? Can I come over and watch a movie? You want to come over and watch a movie at 3 in the morning? Oh, can I come over and shit, shoot some YouTube videos? You want to shoot some videos at 3 in the morning? Stop the cap. Stop the cap. Cap. 
<laughs> I'm like, um, and me, I'm a very, I don't know why, I put up such a big fight just to give in at the end. Like, that's always been me. I wasn't putting up a fight because I think I'm stubborn. Oh my God. Wow. I put up a fight in the beginning. But in the end, I always give in. Not always. It depends on what we're talking about. Like, this particular situation, you know what I'm saying? Like, not everything I do, you know? But anyways, so he was like, let me pull up, let me play the game. And I was giving him back talk, like, pull up. You got me messed up. That's what you got up because, baby, it's 2 in the morning. And I don't know what you thought this was. First off, I don't like to feel tried. I don't like to feel used for my coochie because I know I got that wop. But you better make sure this shit don't pop. Don't be hitting me up only to fuck, like, you got me messed up. It's 2 in the morning. How you trying to come over and play the game at 2 in the morning? I'm finna be asleep. He was like, I'm trying to go to sleep too. I'm like, nigga, why you can't go to sleep at your own house type shit? He was like, I want to sleep at your house. Like, you know, trying to be a little, you know, you know how niggas do. And then, I don't know, like, it's something that a toxic nigga got. It's the type of trait that that nigga got. It's some type of history that, that y'all got. Some type of bond. Some type of connection. Some type of something. I think it's the toxicness, you know what I'm saying? It just brings them in. It just makes you say, fuck it. Come over. So, of course, I said, fuck it. Come over. Now, mind y'all, before any of this, we was like, we were on an off, not on an office, and we were talking, because we were never talking. We were just, I guess we were just fuck buddies. I guess that's what niggas call that. I don't really know. But it wasn't a consistent thing. It was very on and off. He would randomly hit me up type shit. Like, whenever he was in need, okay? I would never hit him up. He would always hit me up. And I'm like, damn, bro. My shit must be crazy, my nigga. You feel me? Like, God, niggas going, ah, ah, for that shit. Go crazy. Ah, go stupid. Ah, go crazy. Go stupid. Ah. I'm like, um... You got me messed up. I'm not gonna be fucking you and you fucking another bitch. You feel me? Like, you got me messed up. Like, what you thought, like, what it was, you know? And he was like, Bro, I ain't had sex in 30 years. I ain't got no other girl. Cap! Stop the cap! Stop the cap! <laughs> Stop the cap right now! Stop the cap! Because clearly it was cap. Because you had to be fucking somebody to fuck. So, anyways, nigga, pull up. We played a game. I'm gonna tell you how this shit went down. He was playing the game and I was winning, bro. And then he started catching up. And then he started winning. And he, he ended up winning the game by a lot. We was playing 2K. He ended up winning the game by I don't know how much. But anyways, I got mad, right? I, I, I wasn't mad, per se. I was just in my feelings. Because you got me fucked up. Nigga, don't come to my crib and fucking, fucking win against me. How disrespectful could you be? Like, that's like you coming in my crib and put your, put your feet on my bed. Like, nigga, you got me messed up, nigga. Like... Don't come in my house, disrespect me, nigga. How you gonna beat me in my crib, nigga? Get the fuck out. Damn. Get to stepping. Get to stepping. Nigga. Y'all comment where that movie came from. Get to stepping. Did that even come from a movie or did I just make it up? I don't know, but that sounds familiar. Anyways, so, you know me. I'm a little, I'm not going front. I'm a tease. I'm a flirt. I'm a flirt. Like... And I'm trying to tell y'all, like, I do all this, and in the end, sometimes I give in, and sometimes I don't. I know I just contradicted myself because I just said I give in. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So, me being petty, I get up, I go in my bed, and I go to sleep. Y'all bitches knowing y'all be going to sleep knowing damn well, sis, you not sleep because you lifting them booty cheeks up so he can pull the drawers down. Don't fucking play. Don't play, sis. You feeling me right now. You feeling every word I'm saying, sis. Come on. Come on now. So anyways, first off, whenever a nigga come over or I'm trying to look cute for the gram or whatever, I got this little one particular onesie I got on. I got it from Onesie Nation. I need to get some more because I'm tired of wearing the same one. It's really cute. I think it has strawberries on it, chocolate covered strawberries, and it's like a little onesie with like a little shorts at the bottom, and it's like a little fitted type of thing, so you know the things be popping, sis, so period. Y'all know I had to shower up, you know, and put that little onesie on before he came over, so he was already feeling me, like you already know a nigga feeling you, because when you be walking back and forth, shit nigga keep looking, you know I got peripheral vision nigga, so I can see at the side of my eye, and I peek them with you, period. So, he was side, 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 I ain't me the whole night, you feel me? So, I be playing the game, you know what I'm saying? I get in the bed, I lay like, like, y'all know the position, sis. When you had a one little leg bent on the bed, so the ass can prop up with a little arch, and you were laying on your stomach, and you got the other leg, like, laid out, like, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, anyways, I was in that position, I had my head turned, I had a little, 
bow bow like you know what I'm saying like ooh, ah, ah, a little pose going on you already know when I do that pose well not just me but when females do that pose it's like yo I'm gonna let you know I got that I got I got that bomb I just need you to know don't ever forget and he t to this day he ain't never forget I don't be going raw bro we we don't raw dog right here okay we always use protection for this specific reason, nigga. I be wrapping it up, but something about that toxic ex, he always got a way of work. Don't fuck with toxic niggas. Don't fuck with exes. There's an ex for a reason, sis. Don't go back, because they trap you. Niggas really be thinking it'd be the bitches trapping the niggas, but in reality, it'd be niggas trying to trap the bitches. <laughs> so, this particular night, he wanted to go raw doggy, you feel me? And I mean, why wouldn't you? You trying to fill all of this? It's wop. You can't fill that wop with that rubber on. Well, I mean, you can, but. Boy, if you don't. Anyways, so, you know what I'm saying? He over here trying to touch up on me, you know, trying to put the little move on me, you know what I'm saying? Trying to seduce me. And you know me, I'm putting in my fight per usual. I'm like, hey, stop. You got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. Then you ready to lose game. Then you got me messed up. Then, I gave him. Now, ladies, I know y'all feel me on this. Bro, my favorite position is, is it called doggy style? It's called from the back. Or is that two different things? Bruh. Oh, no, I'm going to say from the back just to make sure I'm saying, like, so y'all know what I'm talking about. I love from the back. You know why I love from the back, bro? It show your arch, bro. Like, your arch. Your arch be ah. When he hit it from the back, I think it's the position that you in. I think you can, like, like you can, like, tighten up your coot. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to get too explicit up on him, but you can tighten up them lips, if you know what I'm saying. So that way, when he bye bye, you bye bye, and he like, ooh, damn. So basically, that was what was going on. And bro, it was so crazy. I'm he was like this. this is what he said, he said, he was like, bro, damn, Jocelyn, stop. Like, you know, it was like a little. It was like, a, damn, baby, I can't help it, baby. Like, you finna make me, ooh, you finna make me lose control, and he definitely lost control. Cause that nigga. Man, when we go from the back, I feel like the goat because I just feel like I got control. Like I can make a nigga like, okay, you go missionary, whatever all these other position is, it's cool, right? But like when it's from the back, you really have control over your coochie lips. You feel me? Like you can really clinch that thing up. So you know what I'm saying? Like not clinch it up so that nigga can get you pregnant. Of course not. That's not talking about. But clinch it up to when it so it can get to that point. And hey, baby. I was showing A, showing me what I was working with. I was showing the hell out. Show out, show out, bow, bow. I was showing out, you know what I'm saying? He's sitting from the back. I'm clinching it from the front, you feel me? So he's like, first off, bro, what's the first off, before I even say this, what's considered a round? Is a round considered like after the nigga nut? And then I was like, that's one round? Or like, it's one round I don't know if because if that's the case then we went three rounds no cap it's crazy toxic x at his finest working his magic so first round I think bro he that is pretty fast nah I ain't gonna say pretty fast to be honest he might even go ahead and watch this video but I don't even give a fuck not even pretty fast but like he nutted quicker than normal you know what I'm saying like quicker than regular niggas you know what I'm saying like you know, like this, like breakup sex and like get back together sex and sex you ain't supposed to be having. Them be the sex that be the best because it's it's because you know you ain't supposed to be doing it, and it's like the rush that you get from doing something you know you're supposed to be doing. That's what it is. So, anyways, he's going through rounds. First round, nigga nutted on my ass. I felt disrespected. Bitch, don't nut on me. <laughs> like. Nigga, did you just spit on me with your dick? Like, nigga, what the fuck? This nigga just spit on me, like. If you would've put on a condom like I told you to, you wouldn't be nothing on nobody. I felt a little disrespected, like. Nigga, don't fucking nut on me. Don't nut on my motherfucking sheet. Don't nut on my motherfucking blanket. Don't sweat on my blanket. Don't sweat on my bed. Don't motherfucking nothing, bitch. Three rounds later. So I think it had to be. It wasn't even a week. It wasn't even that long, bro. It was like four, five days. After it would probably wouldn't even that long. But anyways, I go. To, I went to the doctor. Cause you know, feel me. I always get my. 
I don't even I wouldn't even go to the doctor for that. I think I was going for an annual checkup. I was going for an annual checkup, you feel me? You know, lady, you got your parts together. I think it was time for me to get a I think I ended up getting a pap smear. I think I was getting a pap smear. Go to the doctor. Mind you, I feel fine. I feel great, you know. Perfectly normal, right? And, and I go I go to Kaiser, if y'all don't know. So I got the Kaiser app on my phone. So I went to the doctor, everything's fine and dandy. I'm thinking everything's cool, you feel me? Gucci, right? I think the next day or the day after I went to the doctor, I got like a message. And I guess they test you for STDs while they're doing a pap smear. And it was like negative for something, some other shit. And then it was like positive. And that shit said chlamydia by it. Bitch, what? <laughs> Nigga, bitch, ho! Oh my god! Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. When I tell y'all I lost my motherfucking mind, bitch. Mind y'all, I've never had anything wrong with me, like, me like medical-wise, like. Never had no STD, never had no fucking UTIs, no crabs, nothing. So when I seen the paper, bro, on God, I thought I was tripping. Like, bro, did I, did they give me the wrong information or something? But that shit had my name on it, so I'm like, yo, this is definitely for me. So I call up, and I'm like, Yo, what's 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 up with this letter? Just this, this message I'm getting on the Kaiser app saying I got positive. She says, "Oh, she go look up my chart, or whatever I guess on the phone." She says, "Oh yeah, you're tested positive for chlamydia." She was like, "You can come in today, and we'll give you pills." Um, it was literally one pill. Was it one pill, or was it three? No, no, I lied, I lied. It was like three or four pills, but I had to take them all at one time, one setting, like one time. And it was like, um, what the fuck is that? It was like, take it all at one time, and they said it should be gone seven days. So, seven days was a week, and my shit was gone, right? But, like, I was so mad, y'all. Like, I didn't know if I wanted to curse him out or if I wanted to never tell him so his dick could fall off. I was just really proud of myself, bro, like, because I was really thinking to myself, like, damn, what if I hadn't went to the doctor, yo, like, I would have never known, you know? I would have never known. And, like, I don't know if it's really a bad thing to have chlamydia, but like, I know it's not. Clearly, it's not a good thing, but I'm saying, like, bad thing as in, like, side effects or something, like, because I know, like, herpes and AIDS, that shit can kill you in the long run, can't it? Like, I don't really know nothing about that CDs for real, for real, but... I'm not a bare minimum, and I know you don't want to catch none of them. So, anyways, I hit my best friend up, and I was like, "Yo, this thing got me fucked up." So, I had sent her this long ass essay on Instagram, right? And then that's my best friend had responded. She was like, "I was like, bro, should I curse this nigga out, or should I like not tell him and wait?" Because I told y'all how I was googling stuff about chlamydia, and I found out. That the symptoms only show in males and like the symptoms for chlamydia in males be like balls be burning and shit goddamn burns when you pee shit like that like you know basic basic shit that be with the you know std symptoms so i was like i really feel like i shouldn't tell him and i should be petty and i should wait like a month until this shit festered up in his balls and he fucked another bitch so i end up unsending the message before he sent me i unsent the message and I just never talked to him for a week. So mind y'all, it had to be at least two weeks. You feel me? Because when we, you know what I'm saying, do what we did, I think it was almost a week before I went to the doctor. Then it was a, it took, I hit him up after I got, I hit him up after I was clear of the STD. That's what I hit him up because I was like, I'm not going to be having this in. I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying, tell you when I still got it. I want to be good on my side before I let you know that you bad, you know? You gotta make sure you right before you let other niggas get right. You feel me? Like, <laughs> let me eat first before you can eat. You feel me, little nigga? You a little pup. You get my scraps. You feel me? Two weeks went by. And then I was like, let me hit him up on Instagram. So I had took a screenshot of the message they sent me where it was like, Jocelyn, chlamydia, positive, whoop. Sent it to him. Mind you, the date was on there. So he knew it was, he knew it was a minute. He knew it was a minute before I had told him. Like, y'all, look at these voice video chat video chat video chat like look at the freaking oh, okay that was at nine 
Anyways, y'all, I don't be capping like, bro. He really be blowing my phone up, bro. Do y'all see how many vi Look at this shit. I'm over here talking about some what you want. Like, bro. So this is the screenshot, y'all, I just found, bro. Like, this was really right before my birthday, too, bro. It was June 16th. Positive. Trank a modest DNA probe. That's why I was like, what? I think I first said, hey, do you get tested? Bro, this was two days before my birthday. I think that's why I sent it. I was like, yo, I gotta let him know. Bro, I sent him a long essay. Like, I'm not even finna read that. He said, what the fuck? I'm finna get tested. And nah, never. I don't even be in people's face. Then he said, why you wait a week? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> then he gonna say, it's probably from one girl because I got checked before her and it was the lockdown and I haven't been, and I've been stopped texting her. What, nigga? It's probably from one girl because I got checked before her. Niggas be cap. Like, when I tell y'all these niggas be straight cap, he just told me that he ain't ever fucked nobody. Like, in a minute, right? But then he just said he think he got it from this one girl. So you know exactly who you got it from. So that clearly means you're capping, you know? But anyways, so he was just getting defensive, like, saying, like, saying, like, why did you wait so long to tell me? Bitch, you lucky I told you at all. I don't owe you any explanation, bitch. You didn't explain to me why you got me having this, okay? The hell? Nick is mad because I didn't tell him about something that he gave me. Bitch, you should have known. Maybe if you got your dick checked. Bro, you know what's crazy? Niggas don't get their dicks checked by doctors, but yet be getting it checked by bitches and sticking inside of them. Crazy. After that, he was like, I'm finna go get tested right now, blah, blah. And I'm like, bro, I don't know why you telling me. Because after this scenario, we never doing nothing ever again. Dang. That's tough. He hit me up a week later and he was like, hey, I just got, um... I just got cleared for the STD. I can come over. Like, on some basically saying, like, some, I'm clean now, can I come over type shit. Bruh. And I was just like, nigga, what? Like, niggas really don't have no remorse for none of the shit that they do. And it really just, it really just amazes me. Like, I be in awe. Like, how could you continuously do some grimy shit to a female that ain't had nothing but love for you and expect them to keep giving love to you? Like, nigga. That was the final straw. Nigga, you having your STD, bro? What? And it really pissed me off because it was like, I told this nigga multiple times to put on the condom. He was like, bro, nah, bro, I'll let you do it like this. Like, bro, nah, I'll let you do it like this. <laughs> How you begging to go wrong? You don't even get tested. But I'm happy I don't have that no more. And it really could have been worse. I really could have bought about that bitch with fucking AIDS or herpes. And that stuff right there is not curable. Like, you know, HIV, none of that. Um, to this day, my ex is still a, a piece of shit. And still why I'm single because niggas are dirty and you can't trust them. You know? I mean, shit, what else to say? But, uh, I think that's it for this video. I think this video is going to be an hour long. I can't even see the time, how long it's been going because my camera and my phone still broke. But I feel like it's been going on for about 30 minutes at least. So I'm going to try to cut it short. But, uh, y'all, that's it for this video. But... I made this for my ladies because at the end of the day, I need my ladies to have awareness and have self-love and just check yourself out because don't believe nothing these niggas say. Even if niggas say they getting tested, don't believe that sis. Go get yourself tested. After after every part, you need to get yourself tested. Period. But that's pretty much it for this video. Y'all go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to post a positive comment in the comment section down below. Don't forget to also follow my social media. I don't know if y'all know this, but I got my thumbnail guide to make me a little, a little, I don't know what it's called, a little, you know what I'm saying? Thing that goes to the bottom with my little Instagram thing, handles, whatever. So y'all go add me on Instagram and Twitter. And if you really like me, you can see my personal life on my Snapchat. But I really don't like people to follow my Snapchat because it's kind of personal. But if you want to see a personal life, you should go add me on Snap, though. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Look, as I always say... We'll go ahead and get this outro going. Let go. Man, it's 2K on the way, man. We going nowhere but up, man. Let's get it. We go. And we out to the next video. Bye.